There are three ways to prepare the maintenance plan of an industrial installation. In this video, we will see these three different techniques. The first step to do a maintenance plan uh, consists uh, of prepare the uh, hierarchical structure. Uh, independent of the way that we use to prepare the maintenance plan, we need to elaborate the hierarchical structure. Once we have elaborated uh, this hierarchical structure of our items that compound our installation, we need to determine which are the uh, maintenance elements the items maintainable means the item that we will refer the different tasks that compound the maintenance plan. And to determine the different tasks, we have uh, three techniques. The first one is to use the manual of the manufacturer. We determine the maintainable items, we look for the manual and we look for the page that, uh, is, uh, that contain the maintenance instruction of this item. After we copy all this uh, task and uh, that's all. Once we have determined all the tasks referred to the, all the maintainable items, we need to organize all uh, this task. And then we need to prepare the job plan. Every job plan is an assembly of, of tasks that has three things in common. First, uh, are referred to the same item. Second one is uh, all the, uh, the tasks has the same speciality, the same technician that mm, must make uh, the task. And third thing is, uh, has the same periodicity, the same frequency. Item, speciality, frequency. The assembly of the different job plan is what we call maintenance plan. First technique based the uh, different tasks that compound our maintenance plan in the uh, recommendation of the manufacturer. But there is a second technique. This second technique is better. The second technique is faster. Uh, uh, this second technique is more efficient and consists of uh, to use uh, maintenance protocols. Remember that someone in the world has prepared the maintenance plan of a pump, for example. Then we need to look for uh, these instructions that are prepared for others with uh, more experience than us and uh, to uh, use the protocol that this other person use. It is possible to find uh, maintenance protocols. For example, the protocol of a pump, the protocol of a uh, cabinet, the protocol of a switch, uh, or the protocol of a uh, engine, or a, a turbine, or a generator, etc. It is possible to find it, of course. For example, a uh, Renovetech prepare protocols for different uh, companies and uh, we have a book of protocol. Uh, really, we have two books, one of them for industrial installation, one of them uh, for uh, buildings. The technique is the same. Uh, first, we prepare the hierarchical structure. Second, we determine the maintainable items of this hierarchical structure. And third, we assign the uh, protocol that correspond to this uh, maintainable item. Third, technique is uh, based the determination of the task in RCM, Reliability Centered Maintenance. That means that uh, uh, we need to determine first the potential failure of the installation. After we determine the potential failure of uh, installation, we uh, analyze the criticism of uh, this uh, potential failure. And after we determine the uh, preventive measure that we can adopt to uh, avoid this failure. The assembly of preventive measure is the maintenance plan. This third technique consume more time, uh, consume more uh, grease material, <laughs> and uh, it is necessary to uh, have a deep 
uh, knowledge of our installation. But of course, this third technique is the best one. Remember, three techniques to elaborate the maintenance plan. First, based in a manufacturer instruction. Second, based in protocols. Third one, based in uh, the analysis of potential failure.